Hi guys, so for this video, ang i-discuss naman natin ay rational and irrational numbers. Okay, so bilang panimula ulit, papakita natin yung diagram. So, irrational and rational numbers, sila ay under ng real numbers. Okay, so under ni, ni rational, yung diniscuss natin from the previous video, sila integer. Okay, so meron din tayo dito na nakalagay na non-integer. So, basically, si non-integer is meron na siyang kasamang decimals and or fractions. Okay? As long as rational pa rin siya. So, i-discuss natin kung ano ba si rational at si irrational. Okay? So, madali lang naman for rational numbers, numbers that can be expressed as a ratio of two integers or as a fraction. Basically naman, si ratio ay fraction. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, 2 integers. So, examples, 3.5, rational si 3.5, kasi pwede natin siya i-write as a fraction na 7 over 2. 16, integer siya, as you can see, pero kaya natin siya isulat as 16 over 1. So, yun yung tip, if ever na meron kayong encounter na integer, Para i rate lang siya as a fraction, lagyan nyo lang over 1. Okay? So, as well as 0 0.333, may bar sa taas. So, kahit na repeating siya, pwede siyang isulat as 1 over 3. Okay? So, yun pala, every time na may encounter kayo na ano, na merong bar sa taas, or yung repeating, pwede nyo siya i-write as uh, a fraction over... Um, multiple of 9 well not multiple of 9 katulad nito yung 333 3, 3, sila yung nakabar so use 333 3, 3 as the numerator the denominator is 9 tapos yung dami ng digits for example si 333 3, 3, that's 3 digits so you write 9 3 times so that's 333 3, 3 over 999 9, 9. that's 1 over 3 so actually 333 3, 3, continuous yan na puro 3 so kahit gano kadami yung 3 yung gawin mo sabi natin na 5 na 3's so over magkakaroon kayo ng uh, 5 na 9's pag nilowest term mo yan 1 third pa rin naman ang lalabas okay so next would be irrational numbers so what are irrational numbers ba so irrational numbers these are numbers that can't be expressed as a ratio or a fact fraction. So, hindi katulad nung kanina na na-express natin siya as a ratio or fraction ng dalawang integers. So, irrational numbers na classify sila as non-terminating or non-repeating. So, ang may example nito, si square root of 7. Si square root of 7 kasi hindi siya nasa-simplify. Si pi tsaka si e. Okay. So, this papakita natin mamaya kung uh, paano ba malalaman niya. So, si square root of 36, rational to kasi pag sinimplify natin siya, 6 ang lalabas. Okay. So, una si square root of 7. Square root of 7, pag trinin natin siyang i-compute sa calculator, ito yung lalabas. So, normally, hindi naman talaga tayo pinapagamit ng calculator, especially in math class. Pero for the sake of, ano lang to, uh, pagpapakita ng example. So, square root of 7 equals 2.645751. Dot, 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 ibig sabihin may mga karugtong pa siya. Pero, hindi kasi siya nagtaterminate. Okay? Hindi siya natatapos. So, yun. Non-repeating, non-terminating din. So, si pi, yung ginagamit natin for calculation mostly for circles is irrational kasi alam natin tuloy-tuloy siya where si square root of 36 pag kinumpit kasi natin 6 yun lalabas so si 6 ay irrational okay so basically yun lang naman for um, rational and irrational numbers so for the next video tatalakayin naman natin ay yung uh, 
real tsaka imaginary numbers. Okay, so thank you. Sana may natutunan kayo.